what's up you guys <laughs> I was too lazy to close my closet door because it doesn't like to close so I just hung up my cute sheet in front of it so today um, since I uploaded my Santa Cruz vlog video I am going to show you what I got there because I got a lot of stuff and I usually don't get a lot of stuff so it was really surprising <laughs> how much stuff I got so let's start this off by saying that um, I am super lucky that I got to go to Santa Cruz and I'm so glad that I was able to get all the stuff and I'm not trying to brag or anything you know just a disclaimer and I know I'm like only 14 or whatever so I'm not entitled to have any of this and I appreciate that my parents decided to get it for me so with uh, without further ado I'm just gonna show you this bag <laughs> it's like a Kankin or however you say it but it's not um, it was way cheaper and it's really cute um, I didn't get it at Santa Cruz, but I thought I would just show it to you because it's super cute. Look at it. Oh my god, so cute. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let's start off with the candy that I got. So, I got this candy at the train station place where I was on a train, as I show you. I got three types of candy. I got first, I got these peanut butter candies. They're called Atkinson's Peanut Butter Bars. They're really good. They're like candied peanuts and peanut butter. Like, it's hard to describe, but they're super good. My mom said she used to eat these as a kid, which is why we got them. Uh, I also got these um, Pennsylvania Dutch Candies Lemon Sanded Candies. Um, they're really good. They're just like a basic lemon hard candy. Um, they looked cool, and they had a horse drawn carriage on the logo, so I was like, maybe they're old. But these ones are an all-American classic chocolate wafer. It's like the original chocolate wafer. These were made in 1847. Well, not made in 18... <laughs> these started production in 1847, and they're called Neko, and they're authentic chocolate wafer candies. They're not that good. They're, like, weird. They kind of taste like Smarties, but, like, because they're super chalky. And they're just like basic chocolate candies. They're weird. They don't really taste like chocolate. They're more chalky, but that's okay. Um, next up, I'll show you all the pins I got. I have another pin somewhere, but I think it got lost. So I'll try and show you that. So the first pin I got was from the Redwoods, which I already put on my jacket because this jacket is covered in pins. I'm a pin collector. That pin right there. It's a redwood tree pin. I already put it on, um, but these ones I have not put on. So I then I got this um, Monterey Bay Aquarium pin from the aquarium. It's really cool. Then I got this Cannery Row pin because uh, Cannery Row is like that famous street which um, Moder the aquarium is on and also it's a book by John Steinbeck which is a really good book so um, 10 out of 10 would recommend I didn't film any of this but we went to the John Steinbeck Museum and there I got the National Ste John Steinbeck Museum pin super cute and then I got this little stamp which I'm going to turn into a pin it's John Steinbeck and it's super cute so if I can find that other pin I got it at the boardwalk I'll show it to you literally weeks later I decided to show you the pin. Wow, there it is. Santa Cruz Boardwalk pin. But um, I don't know where it is, so let's move on, shall we? I got this uh, windbreaker jacket from a thrift store. I did wash it, but it still kind of smells like old, you know? Update on that. I put alcohol on it and washed it, and it still smells, so. Oh, but it was like... 20 something bucks and it's like an old 80s windbreaker um i couldn't i didn't film in the thrift store but this is all i got from the thrift store is this jacket it's super cute i always wanted a windbreaker um actually no here's the tea my fashion has changed a lot i used to hate windbreakers like a lot like i used to despise them and now they're coming back in style and i'm like actually i think they're really cute so i got three windbreakers on this trip um, at first I thought I was only going to get this one, then we went to the boardwalk, and I was like, oh, this one's super cute. So then I got this one, which is a Santa Cruz windbreaker. It's really light, so it's not hefty. It doesn't really keep you warm. It's I think this one's more of like a stylish windbreaker. 
Um, I was gonna get a champion one, but it was like 60 bucks, and I was not gonna get a champion windbreaker for 60 bucks. So this is what it looks like. It's like maroon and navy, and it says Santa Cruz right here. You can't really see because the lighting's bad, but that's what it says. It says Santa Cruz. It's super cute. Um, I think it was only like 20 bucks. And then finally, I got this when it's like hefty. It's a windbreaker. It's like a hefty, hefty windbreaker. Um, it's from Monterey. It says Monterey Bay on it. It says Monterey Bay on it, and that's a little otter right there. Super cute. Um, <laughs> it's very big and hefty. It was on sale for $22, which um, I'll show you right now is super is a super good deal because it's reversible. <laughs> you get this cute little like teddy type jacket which I also used to hate, but now I love. Um, it says Monterey on the back and it has the Lonely Cypress on it. So yeah. So for $22, you get two different jackets. I think that's a really good deal. And it's like super hefty, so that one will definitely keep me warm. So next up, I'm gonna show you all the t-shirts I got because I got a lot of t-shirts, let me tell you. This first one I got, was a mystery spot t-shirt and um, I actually wore this the next day but I went to the mystery spot and I got this cute t-shirt because it's like a super cheesy tourist shirt and that place is like a super cheesy tourist spot so it's like you have to get it because it's cheesy <laughs> so the next one I got was from the Redwoods just kind of get like the rainbow sunset pattern on it across as a stripe and it says take me to the redwoods santa cruz because i love the redwoods and it says mountains on it and it's like a sunset with like the trees so i think it's really cute um and i've been really into like jewel like fall tones recently so that's why you'll see all the uh things have like the same kind of jewel tones i got this shirt from the boardwalk it was on sale which is why i got it um it says santa cruz boardwalk on it right here as you can see and then on the back it has like a bigger santa cruz like type print on the back uh this one which is the classic santa cruz surfer shop from o'neill uh, I had to get it because you can't go to Santa Cruz without getting this. That's the back. Oh, I didn't even realize. Okay, yeah, so this is the front. You know, you, everyone's seen this. It's the classic Santa Cruz shirt. And then on the back, it has a giant logo, which is really cool. So I'm going to be wearing that and show everyone how basic I am. So now um, that's all the clothes I got, but I went to the mystery spot, like I said before, and I got some other things. So I got this crystal type thing. Um, I don't know what kind it is. I think it's like an amethyst, but I'm not good with crystals. It is indeed an amethyst. And it was really cheap. That's why I got it. So I got that, and then I got this um, Mystery Spot water bottle, which looks like those fancy swell water bottles that everyone has, but it was not that because it's much cheaper. It's thermal insulated, so it's really cool. And I believe it will fit in my new backpack, which is why I got it. Like water bottle holders, and all my water bottles are bigger than that, so I was like, I'll just get this water bottle so it'll fit. And then, I got this, um, so if you know me, you know I have an obsession with wildflowers, which is why I got this pack of wildflower seeds from the Redwoods, and I'm going to plant that, and hopefully I'll have like a really pretty wildflower garden. So I got these. That's really cool. And then the last thing I got were these two records from a record shop. And I like really hope they're not melted because we left them in the car. So it got hot in the car. I'm hoping they didn't melt. So th this one's like unopened. It has the shrink wrap on it still. And this is the Foo Fighters Sonic Highways album. And my uncle raves over this. So that's why I wanted to get it to listen to it. And I also have to watch the documentary still. So we'll see how that is. When did that fall down? 
I didn't even notice. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Uh, anyway, and then the second one I got was an ABBA album. It's a Super Trooper album. It has Super Trooper, Ready to Kill, On Your Own, and I. There's a lot in here. These aren't like the classic Mamma Mia ones, I don't think. So I'll listen to some new ABBA songs, which is going to be really cool. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I had a really fun time, and uh, if you have not checked out that vlog, go ahead and check it out right now. Except for the fact that iMovie ruined that vlog, so thanks iMovie. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you guys later. How many times did I say I hope you enjoyed that? <laughs>